Hello, everybody. Well, are we ready to play some banjo? Anyway, so um, I thought we'd take and do lesson number three on Amazing Grace, building a song. So um, I hope you did the bum ditty uh, enough that it's starting to feel natural, but like I said, it still take time. And you went through the melody notes on lesson number two on Amazing Grace. So now we're at lesson number three. And what we're going to do, we're going to now incorporate the bum ditty on lesson number three uh, to the melody notes that you've learned Amazing Grace. Now, this is very important. Um, this is what's going to start developing your ear, your musical mind. That might sound kind of funny, but it, it's the truth, your musical mind. And uh, that's, you know, there's still a long ways to go. But there again, if we take it slow, you'll learn fast. And remember that. Always go slow, learn fast. And that's what we're going to do here. But, um... So, I wanted to at least teach you this song to encourage you to stay with this banjo because uh, the thing is, is, boy, you're in for a lot of fun down the road once you learn the banjo to where you can just grab it and take it outside or in your house, grab your picture banjo, and start playing out whatever you want to play by ear. It's the best way to learn. And you, your, your mind will automatically develop a musical ear. But this is just an encouragement, a beginner encouragement lesson. I want to do this instead of maybe going through a whole lot of stuff that you need to know. But starting off, you know, you want to play something to keep you encouraged. And then now we're going to go back and do some of the boring stuff, but necessary stuff. And, um, but for now, let's just work, like I said, on lesson number three. And let's start embellishing the um, melody notes to Amazing Grace. Now we'll take it slow. So here we go. I'll take and. Uh, I'm not going to put the camera on my fretboard because if you've gone through the melody notes, um, you really don't need to see that. I'm going to put it down here on the head of the banjo. Where the, you know, just, I'm going to put the camera down there where you can see me incorporating the bum ditty. And uh, once you can do the melody notes and incorporate the bum ditty, now, I'm going to show you where I put the bum ditty in, and that's, you know, you can learn that. That's that's a good way to learn how to play the banjo. But the, the ultimate goal is, is whenever we're, I'm done teaching embellishments and things like that, that you'll be able to build your own, um, your own arrangement of Amazing Grace. And that's, like I said, it gets a whole lot of fun, a lot of fun. And you'll be able to learn this in a short time if we just take our time and do it right. So let me go ahead and push the, put the camera down here on the head, and we'll do a walkthrough on adding the bum ditty to um, the... I need to tighten that up. All right, I think I need to lower it just a little bit more. Okay, so almost, not exactly, there's some three beats, three notes in there, but about every two notes, um, I've incorporated this, and we'll just go through it real slow. I'll go through it one time, real slow, and, you know, again, and stuff, so...
Okay, now that was, I'll slow it down more. But does that give you a good idea of where to put that bum ditty at? And do you see how that sounds? I mean, once you get through lesson number three, and you can do this with amazing grace, I mean, you, you are playing the banjo. You are now playing a song on the banjo. Now, like I said, we're going to go back and learn uh, other things. Uh, my camera's dropping. Hold on a minute. Sorry about that. I need to tighten that thing up. Boy, that was really loose. Yeah, let me pull it on up just a little bit more. Sorry about that, folks. I did not mean for that to happen. And um, so you'll take and um, let's just go through it real slow again. This time we'll really try. I'll try to really slow it down. It's kind of strange. Once you learn to play the banjo and you uh, <laughs> you try to slow it down to play, it actually can be very difficult, you know, because you're used to playing stuff at a certain pace, you know. But anyway, here we go. <laughs> You'll want to start an, another line. You'll want to start over again. But before you start over, I'll tell you what, I'll do go through it twice and show you what you want to do. Let's do it again. At the end of Amazing Gray, at the end of that, I put um, I put three bum ditties in before I start it over again. So there you have it. That's that's what I've been building you up to. And if you've um, if you've if if you've done your bum ditty and uh, the uh, Melody notes to Amazing Grace. If you're still rough on the bum ditty and still a little rough on the melody notes, um, go back to lesson number one and number two and go through that again. And, you know, you're, you're going to be a little rough when you, you start off doing this. I mean, it it's not going to be as smooth. I mean, for some of you it may be, but for some of you it may not be. If it's not, don't get discouraged. Don't get discouraged. Um, you know, when you're first starting out, you're all over this thing because you're, you're muscle memory. But this is also about muscle memory, what we're doing here. Now, um, the next lesson, lesson number four, um, I'm going to see we're, we're not done embellishing this song. That's just the bum ditty. But then there's about... Um, about three more embellishments to this song, to this hymn, that I want to add to this. And it's all about training you up on the fretboard and and your muscle memory. But anywhere, there you have it. It's, um, I think I've showed you enough. And uh, so just practice this over and over and over again until you get it down. And then that way, whenever I start showing you some more embellishments to this song, 
you'll be able to add them. So this, like I said, this was part three, lesson number three of Amazing Grace. After we get through a couple more embellishments, I've got another song I'm going to teach you that I think you're really going to enjoy uh, playing. And it's going to be done kind of the same way we're doing this, but a little bit of different embellishments. And it's going to be... Um, it's going to be a real enjoyable song. And the re the reason why I like the Amazing Grace to start off is, is about everybody knows it, which is good. Amazing Grace is what Jesus' love is, what he did on that cross for our, or us, died on that cross for our sins. And so, but it's a, it's a song that everybody kind of knows the melody to. Well, the next one's also going to be the same way. And uh, it's going to be a, 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 yeah, a fairly easy song. Uh, to, to learn, especially if you've already learned Amazing Grace. But anyway, I just want to keep you encouraged and do this, get through this, and, and we'll have you playing this banjo. And like I said, remember, go slow, learn fast. Well, I'd like to leave you with uh, John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him uh, should not perish but have everlasting life and um, so that's that says it all right there and I hope you really will consider that that very seriously your salvation because we're here today and gone today we get out of bed we might not make it back to bed there's so much out there to get us so uh, but anyway enjoy the banjo playing and I'll uh, Get another video out there real soon to you. And God bless y'all. Thanks for watching.